Hey Star Wars Collectors, this is Dark Phoenix 619 coming at you with another Star Wars review. This time I have Commander Cody in his Phase 2 armor from the new Clone Wars wave of 2012. He's, only, he's actually the only one that I've gotten from that you know wave and, and the new Movie Heroes wave. Because he's the only one that really interested me. The other ones are repacks and, and you know little few minor tweaks here and there um, with a couple new figures but I this is the only one I really wanted to get, and I uh, was very excited to get him finally and see him at, at Toys R Us. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the figure. Uh, overall, I really like the figure. Don't like the accessories, well, most of the accessories, but I, I like the figure. Okay, um, some great uh, uh, weathering. Seen on the shoulders and on the wrists, on the knees. That's really cool. I like when they do that with figures. Okay. Some good paint applications on the helmet. Looks very nice. Uh, the emblem looks good on the chest, the badge, I should say. Okay. Just a really good looking figure. Much better than the phase one. Commander Cody from the Clone Wars toy line. Okay. Don't like him as much as the live action version of him. There's been a couple. Um, I have one for comparison. Uh, this is from the Saga collection. And, you know, one, you know this is thinner. So it has that thin sculpt that most clone troopers have from the Clone Wars, and I just think this better is this figure is a lot more detailed. The paint applications, of course, are a lot nicer. Um, the helmet, so a lot more weathering. Um, this definitely has, the Clone Wars, this version, definitely has a lot better articulation, though. So anyways, there's a little side-by-side. -side. Okay. The helmet is removable. And it's a good head sculpt. Uh, it has the scars there. that have been molded into the, the sculpt. Oh, but it's a tad different from the Phase 1 one. Good head sculpt. But still prefer it with the, with the helmet. As for accessories, it comes with this new, from what I've heard, new, new rifle. Which is nice. Um, this mini booster pack, bat pack, jet pack, which is removable. Okay. And just pegs right in. It also comes with this propulsion pack thing, which I don't like at all. Stand figure, stand please. There you go. And this thing is horrible. <laughs> I guess it came with the with the Captain Rex figure that was released not too long ago. Um, it's a big open space and when you put the smaller backpack it's very vacant around here. I just don't like it. Um, don't like the way it looks. Don't like the design. You know this, this you know you place, you strap them in front. I'm not gonna do it. I just don't like it. It comes with a holster but no blaster for the holster. So weird. Um, and these rotate. Um, I just don't like it, you know. I'm not gonna use it. Um, the antenna, I think it's called, on the back of the shoulder pad, tends to bend if you put this thing on it. So it's another reason I don't like it. It just looks bulky with it on. So I'm not a big fan of this. So, anyways, all right. As for articulation, it has a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, so wrists. Uh, swivel waist, uh, swivel hips, uh, ball jointed knees, 
ball jointed ankles, which really have a different kind of pivot feel to them. So, anywho. Uh, overall, very good figure. Not a big fan of the accessories like most reviewers out there, you know, who've been saying some of the same things. So, I definitely recommend picking up the figure, especially if you're a clone trooper fan. Okay? Alright, so, until next time, may the force be with you.